What's up, homies and homets? Let me give you a little quick overview of the Transformers that I just picked up. Some are new, some are old. But I just wanted to talk about, basically, everybody keeps going crazy for these things. And me as a new collector for about five months now, I'm starting to see, like, oh, my God, like, dude. So let's take it over here real quick. So we're going to start from the left to the right. This is just a quick rundown, me not sponsored, me paying out of my pocket what I want. So I got the movie Bumblebee here. All right. I think that this Bumblebee is not really worth $21, but I mean, like the articulation is enough for me because he's just going to sit in the corner. I mean, he's going, you know, he's going to sit amongst the rest of them and sit there and collect dust. I'm not going to fucking play with it. I'll pose him like one or two times and, you know, that's it, depending on how much space I get. But looking at him, like people will like buy this out and then try to like flip it. Now, I got this from Target. So, like, um, of course, I order from Big Bad Toys. I like to order from uh, Hasbro Pulse. But my advice is to shop around. Now, I don't just collect Transformers, but I'm just going to go over the Transformers right now. And fuck the Michael Bay movies. This ain't for kids right now. So, fuck the Michael Bay movies. I'm not about that. Those were fucking trash. They look like trash. It was ugly as shit. Yeah, this Bumblebee sort of looks like the Michael Bay, so I had to roll with it. But this color variation, like there's another one where he's got the shield down. As a matter of fact, I feel like Bumblebee and maybe Ratchet. I liked Ironhide too. They look cool, but they weren't my Transformers. Like Bumblebee still wasn't a Volkswagen, but you know, he works. This ain't even like as cool because it got all the damn kibble. But I'm putting the movies together. Like as you like, as you may or may not see, like I have like the the different ones over here. I grew up on the cartoon, but I like that movie enough to where like I wanted to get some of the you know figures, and I also get ones that speak to me. I don't just get it just because I just gotta have them all. This ain't fucking Pokemon. This guy I picked up. Okay, I'm kind of iffy about this blue shit. Hasbro can tell most of these cats whatever the hell they want to tell them, and they just run with it. Well, yeah, it's blue, so it must like the cartoon. Yo, I like the cartoon. Fuck the cartoon. I wish I could have grabbed him with the clear on there. Because while the cartoon might have had like this blue stuff as a reflecting, a fucking window to a car is clear, transparent. But this one to me is superior to the other one, not because of this blue shit. That could have still been clear. It's the fact that Cliff Jumper has the Autobot symbol and he's gray instead of black, like on the original uh, Kingdom version. I think it was Earthrise. Like I said, I'm new to it. But I know my characters are just like. There's so many different lines like this motherfucker wasn't even in the show, but, you know, he was released on the uh, Kingdom version or maybe it was Earthrise, one of those two. But I'm happy because being a new collector, you know, and like I said, I started September 19th with fucking Hot Rod, my favorite Transformer. But like um, I've amassed all this because of my finances. So please don't go broke doing this shit because you can't go broke if you manage your money poorly. But I picked him up just because he's part of the original line and, you know, I wanted him. But I had him pre-ordered at uh, Hasbro Pulse. Dude, he already sold out and that's just disgusting. It's like people will, it's like you buy shit just to flip it. Dude, put that energy into getting a fucking job. And like there are some figures, I won't lie, that like my neck, my neck of turtle figures. Like I can afford and I'm like my collection is incomplete without certain characters. But I'm not going to, like, really indulge in this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I couldn't get him, I just wasn't going to get him. I had him on Hasbro's Pulse. I'm going to cancel that order because I don't need more than one. If this breaks, then that means I just didn't fucking want it that bad. Because I got real shit that's worth stuff that ain't broke yet. Wheeljack. I got another version of Wheeljack, you know, from the Kingdom version. But that's, like, the cartoon line. So, like, I like the Bumblebee movie. So, I'm not going to go over articulation and stuff like that. Coming from somebody who paid out of his pocket... I like Will Jack. Um, it's not as cool, especially these little things right here. They're not as cool as how his other ones used to be, but I get what they're going for. But once again, like, man, these are like $21. What I feel like was worth it, and you can look at reviews, it's just that, like, I got him from actually Amazon. So another thing, sometimes you can get stuff earlier if you just shop around. I don't like to give out too many secrets, but another place I found is called Big Bang Toys. More on them later, but 
shop around. Don't just be devoted to one thing just because you think they're the only ones that have it because chances are you'll go somewhere else where it's cheap as hell. And like these were on Amazon. I got him, Braun, and I got um, Ratchet coming on Monday to where my pre-order on um, Hasbro Pulse is set for like September or some shit. I'm like, fuck that. I can get these now. And if I ever want to return them, Amazon, you know, I ain't got to pay shipping. I just send these motherfuckers back. But Braun here, yo, he was worth $20. This is like a little mini masterpiece. I'm not going to lie. They, what they said was not a lie. Like he feels not premium, but he feels like, okay, I didn't waste my money. Because some of them feel like those damn Metro New E because of like the little clips. They feel like those like cheap ass put together Transformers. But he's pretty cool, man. I like this. I, I think he should have been bigger. But. You know, like, he was only, from what I saw, like, 10 seconds on the damn movie. But my my two favorite from the lines that I've bought would have to be this guy because I am not getting that Earthrise one. I mean, that Kingdom one, that Walmart version. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers want, like, 100 to $200 for Soundwave. I'm like, man, like, who sets these prices? Is there, like, a, well, it's been this long, like, who is coming up with these fucking prices? Like, who sets the mold? Because whoever it is, fuck him and or her. Like, I picked this one up because I'm not paying that much. And so this is really the reason why I got into the Bumblebee line. Because I was like, you know what? I liked how they looked on the movies. This is worth it. I'll go ahead and, you know, as I was collecting, I missed that wave. But I bet you, you know what I mean? That sound wave is going to show up again. Watch. He's going to be like on a legacy or something. But for now, I'll just go ahead and roll with this one. Not as attractive as that one. That one and that was forty bucks. I'd buy that like so quick. But another one, that's a whole different mold that you might have saw, is gonna be this guy here, Blaster. Worth every fucking penny. I mean, the kibble is minimum. I don't really transform my. My friend said, "Why don't you just buy the Red Series?" Because they not you know in scope. You know, like Bumblebee is as tall as Optimus. Fuck that. But like, yo, like. This was worth every bit of $30. Like, I bet you pretty soon on the aftermarket, they're going to want like $300 for this motherfucker. And that's that's just gross. Like, shit, man. Like, nah. But I would say we shouldn't pay for it. But there are two things that I've paid aftermarket prices for. But that's just because, like, I wanted it now. And I didn't, I don't know how long it's going to be. Like, I'm in the Navy, so I'm deploying shit. So I don't know how long it's going to be before they come out with the Turtles in Disguise. And actually, like, those pipe like they really aren't overpriced when it comes to the neck of turtles because like when I looked at the four pack for the Irma and the, the the fucking newscast at Target right now, that shit's like $150. I spent $205 for the turtles in disguise and they the main cast. I'm not spending no $150 after taxes, $160.70 for no fucking Irma. Fuck that shit. So anyway, moving on. This, I didn't know it was going to be like this right here. This is going for like 50 bucks on Amazon. But luckily, I went to Big Bad Toys. I check at least once every day, twice a day, like once in the morning, once, well, three times, afternoon and at night, because I'll scroll and there'll just be some random quick shit on there. And this was on there for nine bucks. And like, I want to recreate the uh, 90s, um, the 90s uh, cartoon movie, you know, so that's why like I got the hot rod, they got the Dinobots come out and stuff like that. But I knew the Insecticons was part of it. They was they was like a major part at the beginning of the fight. So like I wanted kickback and shrapnel. So like uh, they're not gonna be. I got, I got the other one that's on pre order. Comes out in July, I believe. That's a kickback. But like um, now I just need hard shell. But like um, yeah, he was ten dollars, but fifty dollars. This don't even feel like it's worth ten dollars. Ah oh, man, hold on. I ain't mean for that to come on. So we'll we'll just have to deal with that. If anybody's watching this anyway, but we're going to move on. But like, yeah, this, what I'm saying to everybody is I'm new to the collecting and I do this as a hobby because it makes me feel like a kid again. But I got my naval career. I got my education. I got everything in order. I'm not going to let this shit run me, which is why I come to these next two things here. This is a, a new release, a cup. Cup! Hot rod! Oh! <laughs> Getting his ass whooped by some octopus. But, um... Once again, like Clip Jumper, believe me, I had a choice. I would have got the other one. You probably wondered, well, motherfucker, you bought both of them. Because I wanted to see what the big difference is. Not going to lie, I got this at Target. I walked in, they had like 10 of these. And they only had one Clip Jumper. But this is going back. Why? I thought about keeping two of them, keeping him in the cartoon movie line. And then adding him to like the Bumblebee. Just because he, the reason why Bumblebee, because he's got a premium look. 
if nobody was, if people were none the wiser, and I showed them both this, they're going to think, okay, this is more of the toy cartoon one, and this is more of the premium. Why? Literally because of the transparency. I mean, like, I know that sounds like, well, it's just transparency. Motherfuckers have paid more for less because something had a red stripe on it. So shut the fuck up, fanboys. Like, his little, like, I don't even remember him using this on the damn movie, but it's his Energon locator or whatever the hell that is. On here, it's like blue. It's like a toy, which I know they all toys, don't get me wrong, but there was no need for this. This was completely a waste of plastic time and money. Like, what the fuck was this released for? If people missed out on this, which now he's everywhere. I, when I started collecting, I had to get him on Amazon. I paid ten, no, $5 more than what he is now. It was 25 and then almost 30 after taxes. But now this motherfucker is everywhere. Then they hit us with this shit. Why was this? I throw it, but I'm returning this shit. That's $22. I'm not about to just give Target and Hasbro. Because to me, the only thing that one has that I like is his eyes. Like, But this got like the like the piping eyes, Like, which to me is just more premium. It just looks like a more premium character. It's like a cartoon, but it's like colored in a more premium way. So... But, you know, they slap something on there and some of these fuck boys will just buy just because, man, I'm not, that. that's not me. Fuck that. Another thing, I think these are so worth it. I had this figure before, but I wasn't going to collect the line. But like I told you, when I got your boy um, Soundwave, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Because he don't really fit the original Decepticon mode, but he looks good. So like, okay, I didn't like the Michael Bay, but I did like the Bumblebee movie. What a be what better time to start collecting it now? I got Starscream coming. Right now they want astronom they not astronomical, they want like sixty dollars for um motherfucking uh the fuck was his name? The first jet that fought Bumblebee, you know his name. Somebody comment below. It's probably only two people watching this, but um yeah, uh so this is just worth it. And like I said, I don't really play with them, I don't look at articulation. Some people will buy these toys and be like well, you know, there's a little paint scratch here. It's a fucking toy, man. Go buy three zero or something. And when you spending that kind of money, then complain about the paint apps. Other than that, this was a once upon a time meant for a fucking kid. I was saying to myself one day, I bet your kids are pissed. Like us grownups is buying all the shit. They can't play with shit. But like, yeah, man, I don't care about if there's a scuff on here. I don't know because this is literally going to go on my fucking shelf and not be touched. It's just part of the collection. I got that fucking, um, that dopamine, that euphoria from buying it, setting it up, putting it in the battle pose, and, you know, that's it. Like, that hot rod has been there since fucking October, not moved at all, because I just wanted to, you know, it's like decoration. That's why I just keep it in the game room. I got the original jets up there. I had to settle for the shattered glass jet fire, because motherfuckers want 300 for that. That's crazy. Get a fucking job. Holy shit. But um, yeah, man, just to go off a little topic here, like just to introduce myself. I mean, like this is not a kid's channel. Somebody who's following me that I follow back. I wish I knew your name. If you're watching this, shout out to you. I know he loves the G.I. Joes. He got a badass Cobra Commander. Like he got like the first of all, when it comes to the Joes, which I've, I've watched as a kid, but I'm new to collecting the line. You know, what I mean, that's pretty much all I got so far. But I remember I got him on Hasbro Pulse, but people are going crazy for bad figures and shit. I'm like, look, I'm not paying $50, $60 for no damn Bat Trooper. Fuck that. The guy I'm talking about, he likes a troop build, and his shit does look tight, especially with those damn uh, Night Ravens. But the only one that I'm missing that I want is Roadblock. They got three versions of fucking Roadblock at different prices. Fuck that, man. Like, I like this, and I, I'm not a mint inbox collector. It's just that I don't have much space for my G.I. Joes, but when I move, when I transfer, I will get, like her, I was happy to finally find her in Target, but just to collect, I grabbed him as well, but I'm not a one collecting kind of person, like the Marvel Legends, I'm off of there right now, like, though they got those new X-Men coming out, that's the only ones that I'm gonna get from the cartoon, but Marvel Legends can suck a bag of dicks, they, the, the shit they coming out with now is just like fucking ridiculously stupid and just like too much money for nothing. I'm good. Like I got the main cast. I got the Spider-Man that I want. I'm good. Got the slave one. I like the smaller figures. I mean, the vintage because to me, they just miniature fucking black series that don't take up a shit ton of space. The black series. I just feel like it takes up too much damn space. Don't get me wrong. I like the black series. It's just, man, it's too much. But I just wanted to touch on the Transformers that I just picked up. 
Once again, in case you don't know me, this is like my messy game room. Well, now toy rooms. When I have like company over or bring a girl over, they think I'm about to show them like the toy room, toy room. But now nah, I'm like, motherfucker, it's figures. Got the DC collection on deck. When I say I pay more, for, so for each turtle, like I'm a Turtles Transformers fan. That's what I collected as a kid. So I had to get it. My friends keep making fun of me. Man, when the fuck did they drop a blimp? I'm like, bruh. That as I'm rewatching the show, they um, the first two seasons that was in there like a hell of a ton. I'm gonna make a video as to why. Damn, this is probably too dark, but uh, so I'm gonna keep this short and simple. Why I think Super Seven supersedes NECA figures, in my humble opinion. But uh, y'all stay tuned. You know, if you like what you like, comment, subscribe. I'm doing this just to meet other toy geeks like myself. Oh, and another thing, the dude. That I follow, fuck, I gotta know his name. Yeah, you know I mean, cause he's one of the toy collectors that keep it real. Like, nobody was buying the fucking Masters of the Universe Masterverse, right? I'm not buying that little small muscular shit. Fuck that. I like the vehicles though. Now that I moved into collecting vehicles and shit. But um, yeah, I was like, the first thing I got was Battle Cat and He Man. I was like, yo, for twenty dollars, these figures, like. The show didn't do so well, so that's why they're not popular. But that don't mean He Man's not a badass, you know, thing. And that don't mean like these are not good figures. Um, he did a video over like the little horse back there. I can't think of his name right now because I didn't follow He Man at all. I just like the figures. And when I saw this like shark thing right here, I was like, I like that. So as I started collecting, I'm like, yo, these are like a fun collection. I got my Super Seven coming with the Thundercats, but yo, like these are damn near like the Super Sevens. And I'm like, people ain't buying this. Hey, fuck it. I'll take it. So, like, uh, yo, more to come on that. But uh, y'all be good. Leave a comment. Subscribe. I mean, what do y'all like? What are the, the two or three people that was watching this? What do y'all like to collect? Uh, you know, leave a comment down below.